بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. This movie that has come out very recently in the UK, it portrays some of the companions رضي الله عنهم to be upon a state that they were not upon. Like our master Abu Bakr رضي الله عنه, like our master Umar رضي الله تعالى عنه. Lady Fatima was the beloved daughter of our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and we Ahlul Sunnah believe her to have a very, very high rank. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is narrated to have said, "Fatima tu ruhi allati bayna jambay." Fatima is like the soul that is between my two sides. The Prophet alaihi salatu wasallam would stand for her whenever she would walk in. But I do not advise you to watch this film. In it, they actually depict the Prophet والسلام, and have a person playing his character. Prophet Muhammad والسلام, is the most beautiful human being that Allah created. Nobody can play Prophet Muhammad والسلام. Other than that, in brief, Sayyiduna Umar radiyallahu anhu the Khalifa, the second Khalifa, did not burn down the house of Lady Fatima radiyallahu ta'ala anha as some people claim. There was a lot of mutual love between these companions. Let's briefly mention Fadak. Fadak was a land that Lady Fatima radiyallahu anha said the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam had given to her. After the death of her father alayhi salatu wasalam, she came to the first Khalifa Abu Bakr radiyallahu anha and said that I have come to take my inheritance. Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu told her that I heard the Messenger of Allah say alayhi salatu wasalam that the Prophets are not inherited from. She had not heard this hadith before but she believed Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu. So then she said, well, it's not by inheritance then. Rather, the Prophet gifted me this earth before he passed away, so during his lifetime. Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu said, do you have any witnesses? She said, yes, Umm Ayman and Ali radiyallahu anhuma. So Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu was a mujtahid. His ijtihad, his judgment was that it is not enough in these types of matters to have just one man and just one woman, so two people like this, a man and a woman, as witnesses. So he did not believe this claim to be substantiated. He did not believe that Lady Fatima was lying, no. But he is the Islamic judge and there are rules for the Islamic judge. So for this reason, he did not give her that land. And this is not an injustice from him. Rather, he is following the laws that Allah revealed. And it's not true that she was upset with him until the day that she died. No. It's important to spread the beliefs of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Do not be affected by films like this. Look, untold story. It's been untold for so long because it's not true. A lot of what's in it is not true, subhanAllah.